Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back with what I think is my most favorite project to date. It's a big one and it was so much fun to do. So I have a niece and a nephew who are at that fun, teeny tiny age. And they are so close in age and their birthday is like within the same month. So one is June, one is July. And yeah, I wanted to make them the ultimate present. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I hacked a cubby house. So I've seen these cubby houses in America. I think they sell them in, is it Walmart? I'm not sure, or Kmart. They use have so many marts, uh, I don't know. But I saw on the Smith's website in Ireland that they were coming into stock. My original plan was to get a plastic secondhand Smoby and hack it and upcycle it. But the prices, this was not that much more expensive than getting a secondhand Smoby one. So I was like, this is proper, it's wood. I love the look of it. So I hacked it. Um, and that's what I'm gonna share with you in today's video. I'm gonna get straight into the video. We'll have the chats after. If you're new, don't forget to hit the sub button. Thumbs up if you like it. And let's see what I did to my cubby house. Here is how the cubby house comes. So it comes flat packed. It is heavy enough like to transport it, so I do recommend getting a home delivery. So it comes in panels and you can easily drill it together. I thought it was gonna be much harder to assemble than it was. As you can see, Blondie is sleeping on the job. I had it assembled in roughly half an hour. When it comes to paint, I'm using Authentico Versant Matte. This is such easy paint to work with. I've used this before on outdoor projects and as you can see, I've got three colors. I went for milk as my base. I have a lovely mint color for the window boxes and the door. And then I've got a gray color for the roof because I just wanted to add a little bit of contrast. I gave the whole cubby house two coats of paint. It roughly took me kind of two days to do this. I allowed a full day between each coat for it to dry, but it does eat up a lot of paint. I used a liter and a half of the milk to do two coats. I did paint the inside of the cubby and I only needed half a liter for the mint um, on the door and for the gray on the roof. I actually had a little bit left over, which you can keep for touch-ups. I wanted to add some texture and some fun to my cubby house, so I made some curtains. So I'm just using some really lightweight netting fabric, which Blondie was also helping me sew. And I simply just made some easy curtains. I got a curtain rod out of Woody's and I'm literally just measuring a tunnel and I folded it over to give a hem. I also hemmed the bottom and the sides and I made a simple curtain. Just make sure you measure, cut, what's it? Cut once, measure twice. That is the rule. <laughs> I then just popped my curtains onto my cubby house and you're gonna see now I also made a little canopy I think is what you would call it for the side. I wanted to add an extra shelf to the side, so where I was putting the canopy, I wanted to make a shelf. I picked up this cheap shelf in Woody's, painted it with some of the leftover mint green paint, and I drilled it in. You can also round off the edges, so if you are worried that, you know, little ones are going to bang their hips off anything that you add on, you can round off the edges with a sander. To make a canopy, I drilled in two 
brackets so these are actually shelf brackets but you could use you know ones that you would hang baskets off like hanging hanging baskets so I pop them in upside down I drill them in make sure they're secure just in case kids can reach up I then just roughly measured the fabric hemmed the sides and the bottom and I actually glue gunned mine on because I had no velcro but you can use velcro to stick it onto the metal poles because the velcro will make it easy if you want to take it off when it rains. Of course I had to add some details so I popped on a little house number again pick that up in the homeware section and woodies in the hardware section I was going to put like a letter box and a knocker on but they were so expensive um, I also just added a few little details so I wanted to just pick up on the gold so the devil is in the detail popped in some flowers as well just to give it a fun touch Here is my finished cubby house. I ended up just having a little get together with Jack and Lily and their mom and dad. And I put out the rugs. You might remember these from last year. I had like a little boho themed garden party and the little Ikea hack rugs that I turned into little pillows. So I kept all of them. I popped them out, a simple palette. I just put out lots of sweets and we had a little party so they could come over and I could properly give them their birthday present. Of obviously inner me my inner child wanted to paint the whole thing pink um, but I had to go for something that was a bit more like gender neutral even though Jack would love pink and Lily would love blue um, but I went for like a mint green colour um, just to kind of have it it still looks nice and bright and cute and pastel but like it can be boy or girl. Sadly I am not going to be keeping the cubby house in my garden as much time as much as I would love to. Um, Jack and Lily, it's obviously going to go into their garden. So I had a few questions about, you know, moving it and stuff. So it will fit in a van. I'm five foot. It's roughly to the point five foot. You can lay it flat as well. It will assemble. So if you do paint it for someone and you want to transport it, it will fit in a van. And um, you obviously will need to have a side gate big enough that you can either lift over. Definitely gonna be a two man job to lift it. The cubby house itself, it's not dreadfully heavy. Like I'm able to move it around the garden. Like I was cutting the grass, I was able to move it. It's obviously heavy enough that a child isn't gonna push it over, but it's not too heavy for adults. But definitely two man job. But when it comes to assembly, I assembled the cubby house myself. I thought I was gonna need help. It was actually fine. You are gonna need your power tools. You're gonna need a, I would recommend like your electric drill. Um, if you have like a hand screw, a screwdriver, a hand screw, <laughs> screwdriver, 
you mightn't get the power. So it it does come pre-drilled or there's holes already in it, but I do recommend using an electric drill to put in all of the screws. Another tip if you are gonna buy the Cubby House, I got home delivery because the box is huge. Huge and heavy. So the man, I was actually, I was out at when he came and he left it in my laneway and I had to push it into the garden and it was definitely heavy. So home delivery, you're not gonna fit this into a car, just if you are gonna go out to Smith and buy a home delivery. <laughs> my last cubby house tip is in Ikea. I didn't get any because obviously it's going to its new home, but um, Jack and Lily's garden has concrete and you can get these decking squares in Ikea. Don't know the name of them, just go onto their website and just search for like square decking squares and they just slot together and you could put your cubby house on that so if you have got kids they're going to be playing on the decking squares and not grass or concrete um, I'm also laying it out for a little party and I'm putting rugs out you could obviously put like a rug underneath it as well and um, the paint I used I used on a what you call it, a wishing well. I have an old video, I think it's about two years old. I used that same Versant, Authentico Versant paint on it. And it's with standard weather. The only thing that has gone on it is some of the screws have rusted with the paint itself, hasn't chipped or flaked. So you will get a long time if you do use that Authentico paint. I will use, I will leave an affiliate discount code in the description box if you want 10% off. Um, so that paint is going to withstand the weather. You might have to touch it up for maybe two to three years. I do have the wishing well outside and it's hot. I don't have to touch it up. If you're worried about getting damaged maybe in winter, like I obviously put curtains and I have the canopy on it. They can just come off. Um, I also picked fabrics that, you know, they're really like lightweight, cheap fabrics, like the little white curtains, that's not expensive fabric. You can just take the curtain pole off and take them off. Um, it's okay to get them wet. I mean, they are gonna dry out, but just be careful of the fabric that it doesn't go moldy on you. So if there is heavy rain, I mean, I'm sure you could get a cover for your cubby house. Um, I'm sure if you get like, um, like not a car cover but there's covers you can get for bicycles and things like that i'm sure you could maybe look into getting a cover for your cubby house so it doesn't get damaged as i'm filming this my niece and nephew haven't seen the cubby yet they're coming over in about i don't know why i look i don't have a watch they're coming over in about an hour so I'm gonna put out all the rugs in the bean bags. If you saw last year, I had a summer festival style party for me and the ladies. I still have all of the rugs and bean bags and the IKEA rug cushions. I'll link to them videos below. So I'm gonna put all of them out, a little palette, I'm gonna get loads of sweets, and we are having a party, and it's sunny as well. So as I'm recording this, they, I don't, they haven't seen it. So I will see if I can film their reaction. I'll pop it in if I can. But just bear in mind they're not my babies so I can't I, I need permission to share them and um, so if I do put some clips in but if not keep an eye on my Instagram I'm sure they're gonna love it I can't imagine them not loving it if they don't love it blonde and Pepsi's getting it <laughs> but I'm sure they will that's it for this week has this been your favorite DIY favorite paint job hack I think hands down it has been mine um, let me know if you enjoyed it, if you liked it, or if you would do anything differently. Love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.